Hi, my name's Mitz. I'm going to show you how to delete the previous owner's details from your computer. Uh, sometimes you need to do this when you've got a second-hand computer and you've bought it off someone else. It's, it's very annoying when their name keeps coming up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the Start menu in the corner and we're going to choose Run from the menu. Okay, so now the Run dialog box comes up and we're going to type Reg Edit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T So it's regist it's short for registry editor. Okay, so reg edit. Okay, so we've come to the registry. Sometimes it might look like that if you've never been there before. Okay, so we'll open this up and you'll have these here. So we're going to go to hey, um, H key local machine. So we're going to open that one up and then we're going to open the software and now we're going to scroll down to Microsoft okay here it is here so we're going to press on the plus and we're going to open that one up then we're going to go down to Windows NT okay I'm just going to move that up a bit right down the bottom Okay, Windows NT, not this one, Windows, we want Windows NT. So we're going to go in there, and this is what we want here, we want current version. So we're going to click on that, and just make it blue. We're not going to open it up. So what happens is, we get all the details over the other side. Okay, so this is all the registration details over here. Um, everything about the computer. Okay, where Windows is, who's it registered to, what company. Okay, so what we can do is we double click if we want to change it. We double click on here if we want to change this one. I can change that. And then I'm going to press OK. And now it's changed. I'm going to change the registered owner. Yep, and I'm going to press OK again. OK, there's not much else that you need to change there. Um, you don't need to change it, um, registration info or anything like that. OK, so what happens now is that we can just simply close the registry. Next time we restart, that information is going to be changed. Now I'm going to show you um, how to change your computer name, just in case the person has their name as, um, as the computer name as well. So what I want you to do is, um, on your keyboard, press on the Windows key and then pause break. And the System Properties box will come up. Okay, now if it doesn't work the first time, just give it another go, because you might not be pressing it right. Now those details that I changed before, here they are here. Mitts from PC, see how I changed the name and the company here? That's as easy as that, it's already come up there. So now we can also go to this tab, computer name. Press on computer name. Okay, uh, this is the computer description, that, that's nothing to do with the name. Okay, here's the name of the computer. So what I want to do, if I want to change it, is press on change down here. Okay, so this comes up and I, I don't want to actually change my name, but um, this is where you can do it here. Okay, so you just go down the bottom once you've done it and press OK. But because I'm not changing it, I'm just going to press cancel. Right, now um, there's also, I can close that now that's good. You can also um, go to your start menu down the bottom and um, when you get there you can click on um, the icon, double click on it, the icon up the top. Now your user accounts will come up. Okay so what we want to do, we we'll press on home and now it's going to say um, user accounts, user account types, stuff like that. So you press on user accounts.
actually we'll just go on change an account okay so on here we've only got two accounts so you can go in there if it isn't password protected which it shouldn't be if you've just bought the laptop um, you can go in here double click on it and then say change my name uh, you definitely should know the password um, you can also delete the user completely if they've left a username on there um, you can do all sorts of things to get rid of them okay I think that's about it for that one okay thanks for listening